Preserving and enhancing Alpine heritage in a sustainable way requires a difficult balance between economic development and environmental protection. Soil protection, water management and the safeguarding of cultural resources are the main challenges of the Alpine region. The commonalities of the Alpine region uh, can be described in categories of nature and of culture. When talking about the natural resources, I'd like to stress that uh, the Alps are the second biggest biodiversity hotspot in Europe after the Mediterranean Sea. The construction of uh, transport infrastructure, energy infrastructure, tourist housing, industry, commerce, but also the intensive use uh, for agriculture may lead to fragmentation and may have negative effects on biodiversity nature and landscape. The example of water management illustrates how companies and citizens are directly affected by the problem. Water for human consumption, for irrigation, for hydroelectricity is a premier resource of the Alpine region. And since uh, the areas outside the core area of uh, the Alps is largely depending on water, resources coming from the inside for the economic development, different expectations may arise and this may lead to conflicts of interest aggravated by the increasing uh, climate change. Action Group 6, coordinated by the Permanent Secretariat of the Alpine Convention and the Land of Carinthia, aims to raise public awareness of how fragile Alpine resources are and how to protect and manage them. As we can already uh, see from the title of our Action Group, which includes the, term, the terms nature, culture and water, there is not a single core activity but rather a variety of topics to be dealt with. The long-term aim of Action Group 6 is uh, to enable the um, local or to create the conditions for the local population and also visitors to enjoy this unique environment uh, in the long run. According to our um, AG6 motto, with the Alps today for tomorrow. Three specific subgroups have been set up, dedicated to soil conservation, farming and forestry and water management. We managed to develop a political declaration on uh, sustainable land use and soil conservation. Organized a very successful international conference on territorial brands in the Alpine agri-food sector, which is an important sector for local sustainable development. And we elaborated good practices and recommendations for greening the grey infrastructure regarding to river restoration and in the field of uh, water demand and supply management in cases of droughts. In the field of soil conservation, solutions elaborated by Action Group 6 proved to work very well in practice. Two important actions are already fulfilled. One is a series of awareness raising events which was held in Austria, Italy, Germany and Slovenia. The second was an open-wide declaration on sustainable land use and soil protection which was adopted by a considerable number of states and regions of the Alpine area. The municipality of Flies is an example of how soil consumption can be reduced by revitalizing the city. Wir sind eine Gemeinde im Tiroler Oberland mit 3100 Einwohnern inzwischen und wir hatten um die Jahrtausendwende das große Problem der Abwanderung. Junge Menschen haben in Innsbruck studiert, sind nicht mehr zurückgekommen. Äh, viele andere haben einen Beruf ausgeübt, der in Fliers und in der Umgebung nicht machbar war und daher äh, sind unsere jungen Menschen abgewandert. Uh, zusätzlich beigetragen hat dabei noch, dass uh, kein Geschäft mehr offen hat, also kein Lebensmittelgeschäft, kein Nahversorger. Uh, der Arzt wollte sich auch verabschieden, uh, das Postamt wurde geschlossen, die Polizei hat sich auch verabschiedet und wir hatten einfach das Problem, dass der Ortskern sich entleert hat. Die Voraussetzung, dass auch entsprechend günstig mit Wohnbeförderung gebaut werden konnte. Der zweite Teil war auch, dass wir die leerstehenden Gebäude im Ortskern zum Teil selber angekauft haben, zum Teil aber auch revitalisiert haben. 
In the field of farming and forestry, Subgroup 2 is working on new productive and marketing approaches. One aspect um, to maintain small structured farms is to provide business models that are working and one business model in the recent years uh, with a lot of success is our territorial brands. So the valorization of, of small structured farms and their products under an umbrella organization. And these uh, umbrella organizations are small umbrella organizations focusing on local, genuine, authentic products. And this could be an interesting income possibility for small structured farms um, to diversify on the farm or for a local market with um, traditional products. One other challenge is to build a knowledge network connecting all the stakeholders in the value chain related to Alpine products. The activities of Subgroup 2 to fill the platform of knowledge with content is first of all to find the stakeholders that are involved in this topic all around the Alpine area and uh, uh, through our research and uh, interviews to uh, have the information we need to uh, create this network. In the field of water management, Subgroup 3 is working on providing good practices, elaborating tools to manage water scarcity and improving networking. The subgroup uh, has uh, particularly recommended the conservation and the protection of uh, the remaining peatlands and wetlands that are particularly conserved in the upper part of Alpine rivers. De In Lebendig und Zika is a cooperation between the provincial government of Tyrol, the Austrian Federal Ministry of Sustainability and Tourism and the World Wildlife Fund, and it shows that there is much that can be done to combat floods, one of the greatest natural hazards in the Alpine area. What we are looking for is really these multifunctional areas, many benefits on the same space, where you have natural areas with good ecosystems, which is good for nature, but who can also serve as retention areas for the water in times of flooding. And often enough, there are also very good glacier areas for the people. People can go there for a walk and the children can play. With the Alps today for tomorrow, let's act now to safeguard our natural resources for the future generation.